Hello and welcome to Global Farm Simulator Network. I'm your host, Green Acres, and today we're going to talk exports. How do you tell them apart, Green? Which one's which? Import, export? What do they do? What's the difference? What do I do? How do I do one? Can I see them? How does it work? Well, you might get some answers to some of those questions and more. So stay tuned. All right, so let's head off and get logged in and see what's around for work first. Um, let's see. I'm going to log on as well, actually myself this time. Here we are, and we're going to do a few of these contracts, okay? So, you know, daddy needs money. Well, look at that, 29000 I'm po. I'm I'm so po. I can't even afford to pay attention. <laughs> so we're out looking to make some money, and uh, you know if you're enabled, you can see these things called uh, logistica contracts. So you can see they're export contracts, and they could be import contracts. You just don't know. Um, but you can see here that the butler fired a few off. Uh, so it looks like there's some work on server two for exports. Um, so let's show you how to do them. If you're authorized to see these contracts, they'll show up for you. Uh, and the way you look is you go to contracts, they're in with the normal ones. See, they, they're these special red ones. Um, and um, if you make a donation or if you're authorized to see them, you can see them and accept them and do them. Okay, so um, the job is simple. When you take an export contract, your job is to make sure that what they say is there in that silo um, really is there. So they've sold the product and they haven't been paid yet. And it's up to you to just make sure that, uh, you know, that uh, the product that they claim is in the silo is actually there and you're going to dispose of it. It's just that simple. Um, each time you do one, oh, look, there's a big one that pays $3,500. Um, and then there's a couple of $1,500 ones. So, so one of these is like an export contract going to another server. That's why the price is different. And that can include a lot more material. Um, or less. It depends on what the person's shipping and how bad they want it. Um, this is a standard contract, and it says, hey, go to the export center, pick up 47.1 of canola, and dump at the export silo to, to complete this logistica contract. So you're like, what? What are they talking about, Green? Oh, my God, that's so confusing. My brain just melted down. <laughs> that's easy to understand. Um, the first time uh, trying to understand what we're doing and what the concept is, um, can be quite challenging to the average person who comes from a slot mentality. Um, here we all share the same slot. No, not what you're thinking. Um, and so let's go look at an import-export center because these are the same on every server, um, no matter where you go to in our system. They all have import-export centers, you know, rental centers, things of that nature. So, well, you know, let's, let's hop over there and explore. So I'm going to hop over to the shop and... Um, <clears throat> jump out of the cabin, and we'll start by looking at what the average we say so setup looks like. So, make sure there's no traffic. Jeez, I always get run over here. Um, so, if we look here, we see there's a bunch of silos, and they always look like this. There's, a, there's one big unit with three of them, there's another one with one of them. Um, it's followed by this type of building with a repair facility, and the we say so facility is over here with all of their vehicles for trucking and these are all the same and you can see right here it tells you you know um, and we come around and on the back side is the we say so factory only pickup silo okay so and this isn't even the import export center this is just we say so so that's this side of the facility um, and these vehicles are for we say so uh, contracts only so if you don't have one of those, you can't really mess with them unless you're doing one. You can't use them for your own use or anything like that. Now, here we have a tower, and it's got one silo with a pickup area and a drop-off area. And you can see here um, that this is an import center. Um, so you pick up imports here. So that implies that you drive here. And the side of the fence where you pick up, if you look up, you'll notice it has an output pipe. So you can't, um, you know, it's not made for depositing here. The deposit comes from the other side, and the pickup is on the outside. So the deposit comes from the secure area, and this is the import facility. So if you see inside that they're picking up with the truck um, from a silo, and this is a purchase silo, and they're dumping it here, um, 
and it's being picked up on the outside of the fence, then, yep, that's an import center. Now, on some servers that are cross-play, um, they don't have the fences, or, um, you know, it, it may not be roped off because you actually have to go somewhere and, and drop it off, and, and you'll see the difference. But whenever you see one of these single silos at a We Say So facility, um, this is always the import silo. So um, a player would take an import contract, come over here, pick up a truck, buy the product, dump the goods right over here, and then the player, like me, would drive through here with my truck, and I'd pick up the goods that I ordered from another server. It's just that simple. All right, so let's come over and look at the export facility, and this is the same on all servers. So here we have a crafty little sign that says, hey, it's the export drop-off here. Please don't block. Okay, and you see there's three silos, and if we actually get a close look at this, we can tell that, let's get up closer and, and have a look at how this one's built. We can see that you drop on the outside here driving through, and it's picked up on the inside. So this is you know, the export center. Now the export center can serve two functions. It can serve one function as a sell point. Uh, the export center pays top dollar for goods. Um, or it can function as um, an, a, uh, a place where you drop off goods to ship them to another server. Okay, uh, either way it's an export. And to the export uh, operator, the person doing the contracts, um, they're indistinguishable from each other, except that one pays a little more than the other, and you'll see that as we go. So um, if you're exporting goods and you're selling to the export center, you drop off. You look at the silo, it's being picked up in the secure area. So you can't access that. That's all fenced off, um, except on a cross-play server when it's open. But it's going to be the same setup. You're going to see three tanks. You're going to see a truck that's parked under the pickup, and you drop your goods here. Um, and on the opposite of that is the import center. And if we hop over there, oh, i got to run really quick to jump this wall. I have too much lunch. Okay, there we go. And if we hop over here, here's the import center. So I buy it here in the truck. I pick it up, and I just drive around. You like my sound effects? I'm not a good talker truck guy. It should be something like, gunk, 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 gunk. but I don't do diesel good either. But I can diesel after a few beers, fittingly. All right, so uh, you drive through here, and you drop it off. And then the person would drive through on the outside of the fence and pick it up. Uh, they're both secure areas. So today, we are going to do an import contract. It's real simple, and you can always tell these because if we look at the map, see these orange trucks? These are going to be usually, uh, if we come down and look, uh, Logistica, okay? Um, there's another color. It could be the co-op, but Logistica is pretty much always yellow, all right? And you don't have to hop into the account to do these, all right? So if we look at where I'm at, I'm a farm manager, I'm in the farm manager account, and uh, all we have to do is, if we're authorized to see them, we come here, and we go to contracts, which is on our main menu, they're in with the standard ones, and you can see that it's here. So we're gonna take one of these and we're gonna do it and show you how it's done. So this one wants us to pick up 59.4 of wheat and dump it at the export center to complete it. Okay, so um, we don't have to do much of anything except hop over, hop over the right fence here. Um, and get in that truck. Oh boy, I knew I shouldn't have had those burritos yesterday. Look, I can't fit through that wall. Oh boy, I gotta jog this off and run around. Yeah, I could click, but you know, we're doing things realistically here. All right, so I managed to wobble into the front seat of this cab between that fence. The sure is close. We're gonna start up and hey, we gotta go grab that contract first, don't we? So we're going to go and say, uh, oh, I'm not delivering hay. I'm taking Logistica. And I'm picking up that wheat. So we're going to accept this contract. And it brings me right to my contracts page. And here's my orders. This is pick up a quantity of 59.4 and dump at the export silo. So we're going to do that. I mean, we don't really care or know what it is. Our job is just to verify that and make sure that it's there. So we're going to pull up here in the truck. We're going to get in. We're going to hit R. And we're going to look for it. If it's not there, we cancel the contract and we notify an admin. Because if you complete that, the person will actually get paid. And uh, yeah, never give a sucker an even break. If someone cheats, why should they profit off it? That's what you're here for, is to verify this load and get rid of it. So that's what we're going to do. Well, we can see we've got 59.4, so we're going to take that load. Fill up our truck, and then we have to get rid of it. Now, on a cross-play server, we drive to the nearest sell point to sell it. All right, And it's always coming from this three-tank silo. Uh, 
running. Um, here, on most of our servers uh, that are not cross-play, um, the sell point is right here inside the fence. So as soon as we have this within our means, we'll shove off, right? All right, she's loaded. And here's the sell point. So here's how we export a contract, and we do that. So I dump it. It's just that easy, folks. You like the green? It looks so complicated. Well, now that I've explained it to you, it's really, really, really simple, isn't it? And so this product is now gone from this server. Uh, if it was being sold, uh, we'd come over here and we would mark this as complete. We can show you what actually happens in the system when we do this. So we're going to come here, hit F5, make sure you're still logged in. That way you get paid, not someone else like me. All right, and uh, hit complete contract. And, and we'll see what happens now. We're completing this one. It was a sale of this 59.4 wheat. We don't know whose it is. I mean, we could tell from the message. So um, there we go. It's gone. So let's go home. And let's go look in accounting. Oh, hey, looky here. I got my $1,500 for the logistica contract proceeds, okay? So I've gotten my share. I didn't get anything else out of that. Um, and so what happened on that, right? It's gone now, right? But let's go down and look at the PVA logs. And you can see on our master ledger what actually happened. Um, so here you can see that I got paid... I got paid for the contract, okay? So for doing that, I got $1,500. Um, now here, um, Logistica got debited for the work that I had to do. So they had to pay me my money. So our books are all balanced here. Um, and, you know, everyone can see what happens. It's, it's, it's not hidden by a slot. It's open for everyone to see what's going on. Wonder what your, how your farming buddies make this money? Just look at our logs. It's all here. Um, you can't hide in the slot like you can in the base game and just cheat away and not expect to be caught or brought to, brought to you know, the mat and questioned about it by other players because now um, everything's here for them to see. There's nothing that can really be hidden. Um, and so uh, it's, quite, it's, it's a new world. So here we go. So here you can see the charge fired off. It debited him. It credited me. And look at this. Um, Logistica Export. Uh, proceeds for 54k and to player ID 185. So the butler just got paid for selling that at the amount that he sold it at. It doesn't matter when it gets executed. Um, I verified it and it paid him. And you can see over here um, that uh, the Logistica sale, the the other portion of that, the mirror copy said, hey, you know, Logistica um, imported that and 40,000 of this. Um, was 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 completed. So, what happens is we have an audit program that looks at the at the slot in the game at night and it says, "Hey, look, I've got uh, exports for X amount and I've got NPC sales for X amount." And Logistica shows us what was purchased coming into the server, um, or we, we we get purchase numbers from all the different slots and everything adds up. So, um, it's all fully automated. It's really neat and. Uh, you know, you just do your do your contract, and that's all there is to it. So that's an import contract. Um, that's simple. So while we're here, let's do some more now since, uh, you know, we got the hang of this thing, and, and we can show you what they go like. So now we go back to uh, available, and we'll grab the next one. It wants us to grab 47.1 of canola. Okay. So let's go back to the uh, export center and drive around. Tell you, it's like a fast food restaurant here, folks. So your job is to be the official and to uh, verify that that's what's actually being dumped here at this spot. And don't worry, people think they can cheat and get away with stuff. They don't because it shows up in the slot totals and we audit that. So eventually we will catch up with it or another player will. And don't forget, with PBA, they get half of the reward if they catch you doing something you ought not be. So... Nothing goes unnoticed. You know, you have to buy nitrogen, you have to buy seeds, uh, you have to plant crops, you have to harvest crops, and it's all trackable with these audit logs. There's no hiding like in a slot. This is a real-life game here, and these numbers are pretty much spot on. So uh, it's a great gift to you players who want to play realistically and are tired of the cartoonish life and, uh, you know, the nonsense that goes on in the slot and the cheating. 
how can you compare apples to apples or rate yourself against other people if the goals are always changing and people are always cheating and you can't see what they've done and how they make their money? It's just not going to happen here, folks. We're about reality and, you know, we've gotten rid of the SWAT mentality. We're the only people out there talking about this uh, because everyone else is still caught in the SWAT. <laughs> It's a terrible place to be. It's like be between a rock and a hard place. Come to our world and taste our freedoms. You know, you can trade milking cows with your neighbor. You can see what's going on in his animal pens. Um, you know, you can sell whole farms and vehicles just the way they sit with animals to another farmer. Um, it's freedom. Um, and it's all here waiting for you. Join today, play tonight. Okay, so we accepted the contract. We've got that amount. We've got 47.1 in the back of the hopper here, so we're going to dump that and let that rip. And as I said, in the savings and loan debacle, and it's gone. <laughs> it really is. All right, so what do you do? Oh, that's a guy to do, Green. He's going to go complete that contract. F5, make sure you're still logged in. Complete the contract. Uh, once again, same thing happened there. If we go look, let's take another peek. Let's go down to the master ledger. Glad, glad you know about these things hidden. We can see everything that Shady buys and sells, what he's paying for it, what he's selling it for. We can see player sales by date. I can say, hey, who sold some stuff? Oh, let's go back to the 6th. I can see everything that everyone sold on any, any day to any point. Um, so it's all here. Um, there's no hiding in a slot here, folks. It's all public information. Logistica, hey, what do you know? Here's an export contract. Here's what it paid. There's logs for everything. You can see who's moving what to what server. Nothing escapes the eyes of, well, you. It's your world. Um, and we just give you these tools and make it possible for you to live and play realistically. Um, it's all here waiting. Uh, you can play alone on your own server or you can, uh, you know, come play with us if you're a reasonable person who's looking for, uh, you know, mature entertainment. You know, who doesn't want to farm with everything that just works the way it should in a real world environment? Um, it's a lot to, for, for someone who's been playing in a slot model for their whole life to accept. But once you understand what we do here and how capable it is, um, of doing things, I mean, you are going to be shocked. So let's see what happened on that last contract. Uh, let's go into Master Ledger again. Oh, and we can see that here's the export. Um, it actually paid a player, in this case, player ID 185. He like, well, Green, how do I know who 185 is? Well, it's simple. We go to home, and I'll show you how to look it up. We go down to um, player stats, and player 185 would generally show up in here. And here we have all player slats, uh, stats. And you can look at a player's ledger by clicking on it to see what they're up to. Uh, you can see what they've got for cash. You can click on equipment, see what they own. You can click on land, see what they own. You can click on buildings and see what they own. Um, so, yeah, let's let's take one. Oh, let's go look at, uh, like, Grandpa here. We can click on his land. Well, there's everything that he owned, what he paid for it, when he bought it. He's got something leased, so forth and so forth. Um, if he's got buildings on his land, it shows everything that he has and where it is, unless it's bundled in with, with his property. And if that's the case, it will show up on his property. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Um, we know that the butler just got a whole pile of cash, and we can tell that because, well, we just go look up his record, um, and it would show us. But he's not displayed because he has an unlisted number because he's one of our testing accounts. So if you see the butler, say hi. And remember, if something goes wrong, the butler did it. All right, so we have one more contract to get rid of here. Um, we saw what happened on that one. Let's just go finish this off now and get her, get her done for the day. And this is an actual export contract. This pays more. So um, let's do this, and we'll show you what happens. All right? Um, so we are going to, it says, uh, go pick up this sugar cane. So let's get over there. This is tough to do when you've had one too many beers. <laughs> Luckily, the fence stops you from ending up in another zip code. All right, so here we go. And there should be some cane. Arr. Arr. Arr, matey. Let's see. Cane, 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 cane. Grazing cane. 
Ah, here we are, 37364. So, first thing we should do is probably accept that before someone else does. Otherwise, they'll show up and say, Get out of my truck! I got that contract. All right, so we're going to say, Okay, F5, and uh, we're going to have that. And uh, we, oh, we already did accept it. We're good. See? I know better. I've got two people accept the contract where one had taken it, they didn't refresh, and then they thought they had the same contract. <laughs> we want to end up with it, folks. So always double check with that F5 button before you do something of significance and get a refresh. See if it's still there. All right, so here we're just going to dump this. Just This is an export to server contract. Do you notice any difference, really? I just pulled around, I picked it up, and I'm just dumping it here. Now, if we were on crossplay, I might have to go down the road to get rid of this. But either way, I'm going to get rid of it. And don't come back with it still in the trailer. All right? So that contract is completed. And watch what happens on this one. This one's different than the others. So with this, nobody gets paid. I think it takes money from the one who, ran, from, from the one who you know, put it in the system. It's seven grand to export something. And, you know, that money gets split up between the people doing it. And they can transport up to 400K of goods. So we're all through now with this. Just leave it here, turn off the engine, leave it parked under the block. And uh, we've completed this contract. So let's go finish this. F5, am I still logged on? Yep, I am. So we're going to click complete. And we're going to go home. And as you can see, um, here in my ledger, I just got paid for uh, the contract proceeds for doing those three export contracts. So that's how you make money. Um, and you help out your neighbor, too, because if you can see these and you're trusted, um, then he's waiting on his money to get paid. And, you know, he's going to love you if you do the contract and, and just kind of help it move along. Now, what happened different? One of these was an expensive one. This was, a, you know, an intra-server export. So let's see what it did on that. So if we come down and we go back to the uh, master ledger just to look at the nuts and bolts here, because I know you guys like this stuff, you know. So uh, it's like these are the blocks and rings and, you know, these are the pistons down. No, seriously. Um, so here, you see, all it did was pay me for the contract. It's all. And that's all it registers against Logistica. So you're like, well, well, what good is that, Green? Well, that was an export to another service. So what should it have done? Well, if we come down and look at the newswire, it says, uh-oh, import contract created on server 10. So I completed that one and it created another one all by itself. Because Logistica created it. And if we come look and see what that is, we can come here and we can say contracts uh, available. No, nothing up here anymore. And these are all sorted by server folks. By, so Elm Creek Co-op. Let me come down and we get to like Hastings and there's factory jobs and farm, auto farm contracts out there. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. So, um, these are all trucking contracts. Oh, see, there we go, right there. There's the Logistica. So here it is. It says Wild West, and it says, here's the other piece of that contract, and it auto-created this so that someone you don't even know will probably do this and execute it. And that's how stuff moves between our servers and our ultra-realistic uh, farming community, uh, real exports and real imports. It disappears off one like a Star Trek transporter and gets rematerialized on another. Thank you, Scotty, right, for your technology. We will use that and make it better, as the Borg would say. Um, so that's all there is. So now it's created that. So if I actually go to this other server, right, this is how we'd complete it. I'd go to the import silo, I'd purchase that amount, and I'd dump it in that single silo, and then the player would come pick it up. Um, that's not really going to happen here, but I'm going to complete this um, as if we've just done that. Um, and you can see here that... I would then be paid for having run that contract. There's my 3500 Boy, I could use the money for that. Um, of course, it's cheap for me to do a whole video, edit it, and upload it. I mean, boy, I'm going to ask for my, a pay raise on this one. Um, and you can see that the contract's been completed. So I didn't really take possession of it, of it on the other end as much as I'd love to because that would be cheating, and I do have a real factory in there that I could use that for. Um, so, yeah, pinch me if I'm dreaming. But, yeah, even I keep myself in check, you know, I mean, anyone could cheat if they wanted to, uh, but who are you cheating in the end, yourself? <laughs> it's sad. So that is what imports and exports are all about. So uh, hope you enjoyed, and uh, be sure and tell your friends about us, GFSN.
Join today, play tonight. Take care, everyone.